what's going on youtube welcome back to another brand new video and in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize cs2 in 2024 optimize your fps improve your pc's performance and a lot more in this guide so make sure to stick around till the end and with all that said let's get started with the intro Step number one is the essential windows settings and for that head over to settings on your PC and once you're here head over to gaming, go over to game bar and turn this thing off. It consumes a lot of memory and CPU utilization in the background and disabling so will make a headroom on your CPU and memory for gaming. Head back to gaming, go over to game mode and turn this thing on. It disables apps and services running in the background and optimizes your PC for gaming. Right beneath that, you'll find graphics settings, head over to that and then click on change default graphics settings and enable both hardware accelerated GPU scheduling as well as optimizations for windowed games as both of them will help you to utilize your GPU to render the game as well as reduce your input latency drastically. Head back to graphics and you'll find a list of all apps and games installed on your PC right over here. What you have to do is click on the browse button and then go to the install location of CS2. For that you can go over to Steam, right click on your game, head over to manage and then click on browse local files. Then simply copy this whole game directory and then go back to settings. Head over to the browse button and then click on the path over here and paste this path. Head over to game, bin, win64 and you'll find cs2.exe. Click on add. Then head over to options, click on high performance and then click on save. Head over to windows update and check for any update that is available on your PC. If it is not, I highly recommend you guys to update your windows because a lot of bugs are being fixed which can cause fps drops well before moving ahead i would like to introduce you all to gvg mall a store which fulfills all your digital needs for games and gift cards in one place gvg mall has a wide variety of digital keys for games and in-game currency for multiple vendors which is legit reliable and convenient on the website you can find a lot of categories where you can get steam and origin as well as pc game gift cards and genuine windows activation key I however liked how convenient it is to get a genuine windows key since I do not like the activate windows watermark on my screen and to fix it I can literally get a windows key for a huge discount. Generally you can get windows 10 for 5378 but on this sale you can get it for 2175 and if you use my code fox25 you can get additional 25% off at just 1631. And you also have windows 11 update for free and it is perfect time to get rid of that windows activation mark. Mark. There are multi-bit payment methods which are convenient and once you buy it, you will get an email within minutes and using that code, you can activate your windows in no time. So go check out GVG Mall, links are in the description below. Step number 2 is deanimating windows and for that simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows over here. Click on adjust for best performance and then select save taskbar thumbnail previews, show thumbnails instead of icons, show window contents while dragging and smooth edges of screen fonts. All of them will help you to retain the basic look of your windows and disable all unwanted and unnecessary animations on your PC. The next step is right in the advanced section that is virtual memory over here. Click on the change button and then deselect automatically manage paging file size. For the custom size set the string to 1361 and for the maximum size open up your calculator and multiply your total RAM with 1024. I have 32 GB RAM so I need to multiply that with 1024 and the value that I get over here I have to divide this by 2 so that is half of your memory. You have to paste this value in the maximum size and once you done that simply click on set and then click on ok and then click on apply. This is how you optimally set your virtual memory for gaming. Step number 3 is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your PC and then look for local list C. Click on create and name it CS2 just so you can remember it. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any data loss. Once that is done, simply click on close and close system properties. The next step is the most important one that is the CS2 new FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You'll find in 8 simple folders over here. The first one is CPU priority in which I have AMD and Intel CPU priority. Once again, if you have an AMD CPU, you can double click and run the AMD CPU priority and so for the Intel CPU priority. Once you're done with that, head over to the second folder that is the CS2 optimization and for this I would recommend you guys to leave your PC specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which one to choose from in this list. Then head back to the third folder which is RAM optimization and once again I have left a ton of presets according to your memory. Once again you can simply double click to apply any one of them according to your PC as I have 32GB RAM I need to run 32GB RAM registry and once again if this doesn't work out well for you guys you can always reset it back to default from this registry over here. Then head back to the 
folder and then go over to the programs folder in which you'll find cache cleaner memory duct and quick cpu let's begin up with cache cleaner simply right click in on this as administrator this will start deleting all unwanted temporary files which are not utilized and not being used by a PC. These files are created by programs running in the background of your PC which are currently not in use so it's completely safe to do. Simply minimize it and it will automatically close it once it's done. Next is MemReduct. You can simply install it with this file and open MemReduct on your PC. And here is a visual representation of how MemReduct actually works. You can simply click on the clean memory button and then click on yes and as you guys can see that the memory utilization drops down instantly. This is really beneficial while you're playing the game as it creates a headroom in your memory for your memory to perform much better while you are in the game. I highly recommend you guys to run this each and every time you're launching the game. Last is quick CPU over here and for that open up quick CPU on your PC and it should load up like this. Once you're over here you'll find system power plan. Simply set this thing to high performance or ultra performance if that is available on your PC and then click on active. Then for core parking, frequency scaling, turbo boost and performance, slide them all the way up to 100% and then click on apply. This will disable core parking on your PC and improve the multi-core performance of your CPU. Also click on this max performance gear over here and then click on accept and this will automatically apply all of the best settings for your CPU to perform much better. Then head over to the next folder which is unwanted services and over here I have left a ton of services for you guys to disable. Once again if you guys use bluetooth services leave that and disable every single thing right over here. This will help you to gain extra FPS improve your PC's performance by disabling unwanted services in the background. Once again if you want to revert all of them you can simply revert them back from this folder over here. Next is input lag fix and this features your keyboard and mouse latency registries. For your keyboard latency registry I want your keyboard specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys Guys, which one to choose from in this list then head over to the mouse latency registries and i have left a disable pointer precision as well as mouse delay over here once again you have to run mouse delay on all computers and if you're using a trackpad you can skip on the pointer precision but if you use a physical mouse you can double click and then the disable pointer precision over here as well next is power plan settings and this one will help you to import the ultimate performance power plan on your pc you can simply right click on this as administrator and this will run this command on your pc once it imports the power plan, you can head over to the power plans over here and simply click on the ultimate performance or the Bearfox Ultra Perfo plan if that is added onto your PC. Last is the batch tweaks in which I have left the BCD edit tweaks, memory compression, process mitigation and latency tweaks. All of them will help you to eliminate your input latency. You can right click in on all of them as administrator and it will perform a batch of commands that you do not have to perform manually, just like this. You can right click on this in notepad to see what are the changes that are being done on your PC so you're assured of anything and everything. Once you're done with the FPS pack, you can simply close it and let's move to the next step that is local group policy editor and we use this to disable background applications. For that, you can simply search for local group policy editor on your PC and this will only be available for Windows Pro users. Once you're over here, extend this window so you can see it in a better way and in the administrator templates, you'll find Windows components. Click on that, head over to app privacy and double click on let Windows apps run in the background. Simply enable this policy and set the policy to force deny. This will help you to stop running all of the applications running in the background which are consuming your CPU and memory utilization, allowing your PC to perform much better while you're playing the games. Next step is fixing all of your internet issues using Noping. You can simply download this from the link in the description below. And once you open up Noping, it should look like this. Once again, it offers you over 300 games to choose from and you can simply search for Counter-Strike Global Offensive right over here. Click on select the server and it will offer you all of the servers that are near you. You can simply scroll down and find the server that is nearest to you. For me, that will be Pune03. Once you find the nearest server with the lowest amount of ping over here, you can simply click on optimize this game and it will one click optimize your game right away. No ping helps you to tunnel your internet straight from your PC to the game servers without any hindrance, allowing you to fix all of your packet loss, ping issues, latency, and so much more. The best part about no ping is the settings gear over here, which offers you turbo game. If you enable this, you can improve your keyboard response time and eliminate all kinds of input latency and the boost FPS section, which offers you dedicated FPS boosting tools. And if you enable all of these settings right over here, you can gain extra FPS in the game right away. I highly recommend you guys to go check out Noping, links are in the description below. 
Next step is Steam launch option settings and for that you have to open up Steam on your PC. Right click on your game and head over to properties and in here you will find launch option. I'll leave this string on my website so you guys can copy and paste it right over here and once you're done with that click on play and then head over into the game for the best in game settings. Okay once you're in your game head over to the settings menu and then go to the video settings. Over here make sure that your display mode is set to full screen and your aspect ratio should be your native aspect ratio. The resolution should be the highest available for your monitor and the refresh rate should be the highest available for your monitor as well. Then go down to advanced video settings, scroll all the way up and see the boost player contrast. Turn this thing on, VSync should be turned off. Then you have Nvidia Reflex Low Latency, if that is available for you, make sure to set it to on plus boost. Set your maximum FPS in game to zero. Current video values preset, leave it as it is. Let's start with multi sampling. Set this thing to none. Global shadow quality, set this thing to low. Then you have dynamic shadow, set it to sun only. Model and texture detail, set this thing to medium. Texture filtering mode, anisotropic 4x, you can also go with bilinear or trilinear or with 2x as well, but I prefer 4x for my PC. Shader detail low, particle detail low, ambient occlusion disable. High dynamic range should be set to performance and fidelity FX super resolution. I have set this thing to disabled, but you guys can go with performance as well if that gives you better FPS. Once you're done with that, you can press your escape key and now you're done with the best settings possible for CS2. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have made sure to leave a like and smash the subscribe button, it really helps me out a ton. We'll see you guys in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.